tonight I am back out in the Diablo range. Um, this is a late August video uh, and the smoke is pretty bad here in Northern California. This will be the last video I do in the Diablos before uh, next year, I guess. But yeah, it's quite smoky out tonight. Uh, when I was driving over here, the sun was bright red and the sky was orange and gray. And I was planning on staying here a couple nights, but maybe only one if I want to avoid becoming a piece of beef jerky by the end of this. Up on the hill here is our first find. A little Jerusalem cricket. Not too impressive. But last time I was here, I did not see one. So, fun to see one this time. Feigning death right now. They just curl up into a ball and roll around. Wake up. All right, back you go. Here is our first Western Force Scorpion, Yorktonus Mordax, for the night. And starting off at a pretty good size here. This is an adult, uh, I think it's a female. Yep, must have a burrow somewhere near here. Typically when I find them, I don't manage to uh, get any footage because the majority of them are in the burrows, waiting at the entrance, and then dip back in. Just rolled up on this Western Forest Scorpion. Nice size one too. Here. Must have just come out because it's only been dark for mm, about 10 minutes or so. It's gone. While walking in this path, I found our first scorpion. A teeny tiny Ceredigitus cochi. This one must be no more than a centimeter long. Very tiny. Thought I'd show you this tarantula since I didn't really have to lure it out. It's just out here. Well, presumably that's his burrow up there. But sometimes they're quite far away waiting for prey in other areas. Oh, flicking hairs. I don't want that on me. Anyway, I'll leave it alone now. Found a tarantula burrow here. Let's see if anyone's home. I'm pretty sure. I think I can see a leg from here. There you are. It's gone back in. I'm just gonna leave it be. I need to find some scorpions. Right here is an orb weaver spider. Um, I forget the genus name, but I am familiar with this genus. Um, and unfortunately for this particular spider, it's in the middle of a path. And I actually walked this to my camp during the day. Uh, and so I don't think it's going to last very long here. Uh, it probably built this web in the last few hours or something like that. They're quite busy workers. There's a little tiny tarantula down there. I'm not going to bother luring it out though. I'm trying to find other stuff. I just wanted to point out that this is a very peculiar spot to find the species. Softing a scorpion. Cerdidus grichi striatus. That's the subspecies. We are in a forested area. Quite a heavily forested area. And usually they don't live in areas like this. Um, they're in the drier microhabitats. So, a bit strange to have seen one here. This is what I'm talking about when I say that. Yorknus uh, mordex uh, burrows itself. That one just went back in. And unlike species uh, like uh, in Yorknus, you can't really lure them out. They just get scared and run back in further. A tarantula out in the open over there. Chilling next to his burrow. Phonopelma iodius, the desert tarantula. Another little soft finger scorpion in a forested area. You can see that there are leaves everywhere. It may be in some kind of microhabitat that I'm not fully aware of. Perhaps this is the case. Here's another desert tarantula. A female, I believe, even though it's subadult. And there is the burrow. I'm gonna do it. Oh, not gonna flick hairs? Nice. This is something I've never seen in my life. An alligator lizard at night. Well, it's gone now, but 
that was definitely a peculiar sight. Finding this scorpion here was a bit unexpected. This is a uh, California common scorpion, Periarchnus sylvestri. Um, it's really kind of strange to find them out here because uh, there's like fog rolling in every morning and whatnot, and these like it in drier microhabitats. Another tarantula here, sort of freaking out, not sure why. Burrows up there, and it's like webbing some dirt beneath it or something like that. I have no idea. I don't think it caught anything. I think that's just dirt. Protecting a ball of dirt, essentially, is what's going on here. Another California common scorpion here, up on the peak, where there are no trees. The ones here seem to be quite large. Um, larger than the ones we have in the Bay Area. Very little life on this big wall, except for a few small plants and some lichen. But down here, a California common scorpion. Another very large one. Seems to have come from that crack down there. Look at this. This western forest scorpion is gravid. This is a mature female, sorry little spider, with little ones inside. And when they're gravid like this, they're quite aggressive. Um, the other adults, whether it be male or female, uh, will not be as, uh, as uh, aggressive as these gravid females will be. Look at this. This is probably the largest Tidioda spider I've ever seen in my life. Must be gravid or something. Especially since it's super skittish. Not sure. But yeah, very large one. Look at this western toad. Uh, Bufo species, I don't know which one. It has a battle scar. It's missing... Stay still. It, damn! It's missing an eye right there. Just has the, the lid. I'll leave it alone because if I pick it up, it may uh, expel its water reserves. And it's the dry season, don't want that. Another tarantula just wandering around over here, but in a very peculiar way. It seems to know that I'm in its presence. Well, obviously I'm shining a light at it, but usually they don't act this way. Just lured this tarantula out of its burrow. It went kind of crazy and flew all the way out. Let's see if it uh, finds the burrow. If it doesn't, I'll just put it back. Well, it's kind of going in circles, so I'm going to attempt to direct it. Look at this, a little mantis out on the road. It's a male, so it's a bit tough to tell which species. I don't know, it could be one of our native ones. Oh no, it's not, it has the, uh, it has the spots on its arms. So, this is probably a male European mantis, invasive species here. Well, unfortunately, the smoke is getting thicker and thicker, uh, quite rapidly actually. So, I feel my time, my time has come. So, that'll be all for this video. Thank you for watching.